What's up, Ethiel? It's July 2nd, 2018, and you're sitting in the back seat of Dad's truck, heading north on the Garden State Parkway towards I-287 and the Palisades. You don't realize it yet, but this is a drive you're going to get to know really well. You're scared, you're doubtful, the flame of sated confidence you have in yourself feels all but still burning. You're the living embodiment of the phrase, shaking in your boots. You're wondering, what have I got myself into? All you wanted was to play Division I college basketball. You're in for a whole lot more than that, dude. Today you begin your journey as a cadet at the United States Military Academy. Let me explain to you some of the people who will make these next four years the most special of your life. Cadet Jordan Coleman is your teammate, B's company mate, and brother for life. You need to ride to the PX? Jordan's gotcha. You want to hop on the train to the city? Jordan will say, let's hurry up and catch the 1215 at a garrison. You need to laugh after failing a calculus 2 WPR? Look no further than J. Cole. Bottom line, he's going to have your back through the easy days, and more importantly, the hardest of days. You also dunk on him a few times in practice, but don't tell him I mentioned that. Lieutenant Colonel Joshua Richardson is your sponsor, mentor, and believe it or not, he's going to administer your oath of commissioning in a few short days. He's also a former Army Hooper himself, class of 2000. Lieutenant Colonel Richardson will teach you what it means to be a professional, how to carry yourself as a leader of character. He will offer you a master class in presence and he will provide you with an example of strength that you will have thought previously impossible. Many of these lessons will be unspoken, blissful observations of an expert at work. Be attentive and aware around Colonel Richardson. It will serve you well. Cadet Anthony Larico is an Italian kid from the outskirts of Boston. He's going to be your roommate all four years and a stud pitcher on the baseball team. Rico, as you learn to call him, will teach you work ethic. One chilly October night, you'll move in slow motion down the hill after a brutal Coach Allen conditioning session. Lucky for you, you arrive to an especially nasty MC300 problem set via the next morning. Just as you sit in your chair and allow your eyes to get heavy, you'll hear a piercing. Hey, Theo, quit feeling sorry for yourself, man. Classic Rico. You immediately snap out of it and continue to work. Rico will teach you the value in doing little things right, embracing a control the controllables mindset. He's another brother for life. Captain Sean Robertson will school you in communication. Some of the most gracefully written emails will read your inbox from him. You will read and reread them in awe. Cadet Jordan Fox is the captain of the team, your plea beer, and will offer an example of peer leadership you'll revert back to often. Cadet Nick Fink is a teammate and a friend, and he will show you what it means to care about a person. He'll also expand your music taste tenfold. Cadet Tommy Funk will be your big brother in your company and on the scene. You'll look up to him and ask him a million questions over the years. He's also the best point guard you'll ever take the court with. Cadet Josh Caldwell will do things on a basketball court you can't even comprehend. Where did he come from to get that steal? Cadet John Scully will be your go-to guy during the COVID year and the type of dude that it's impossible to be upset around. Unlimited Arvin Arm Farms. Cadet Aaron Duhart is your go-to guy for any questions engineering management. His academic prowess is only trumped by his individual character. Josh, John, and Aaron are going to be your teammates and classmates. They're also brothers for life. Feels like there are infinite other people and lessons to mention, but I will stop there for now. Can't spoil everything for you. Brendan. You thought you were deciding on where to go play college basketball. You couldn't have been more wrong. You were deciding to surround yourself with people who unrelentingly push you to higher peaks. To enter into an environment where you will fail, fail again, and fail even more. All of this to teach you how to succeed. To understand followership, so that when you find yourself in a position of leadership, you will be measured, confident, caring, and capable. How to be a great teammate, and how to subvert individual achievement for that of the group. There's nothing more rewarding. You'll learn that it matters who loses and who wins. The profession you are entering requires nothing short of the latter. I will be forever grateful to the 18-year-old shooting guard from Hudson County, New Jersey, for wanting a little more out of his college experience. What he got was the foundation for a meaningful life, rooted in a sense of selfless service, constantly reverting back to the people and lessons West Point gifted him. I'm proud of you, kid. Good luck at Beast. You're gonna kill it.